let's look at how you would add a new project or a new work example um, to, to the system. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up to New and choose New Post. Um, so what we're going to add is something called the West West Vale Sub Area Plan. Uh, and I've got some verbiage over here, so let me copy this quickly and paste it in. So now I've got a title and some and some verbiage. What I want to do is add some images to this. So I click on my Add Media button, and once this pops up, I can drag from my desktop and drop in some images. Uh, they're going to upload here, and as soon as they finish, I can then click on Create a Gallery. So a gallery, well, I'll show you after we post this, is kind of like a collection of thumbnails, and that's that's how we want to present multiple images in, inside this post. So I click on Create Gallery, and then these things should, just because I, I uploaded them to this page just now, they should still say ch Checked. And I'm going to go in the bottom right, Create New Gallery. We can accept the defaults. Here are the images. We could add captions if we'd like. And go Insert Gallery. And this, this thing here with this big camera and, and photo icon on it, this is the, the, uh, the gallery. And uh, after we publish this, I'll show you what that means. Um, but that, that's the way of, of how we should add multiple images to, to a work example. Um, so let's start to talk about some of the tags and things that are relevant here along the right-hand side. So first, categories. So that, that on, the, on the home page, there's that featured news section. And this is the, the checkbox that, the, that tells, um, tells WordPress whether or not this news item goes there or not. In this case, it's, this isn't uh, this isn't anything that needs to be featured, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, but this is a project, and we need to check that. And it's important that one of these things gets checked for every single um, post that we make, whether it's staff or news or, or just a, pro a project like this. Uh, tags. So this is important. This is where we we define some keywords. So this was a resort project, resort, and it doesn't look like we have resort, so we're going to add a new one. Uh, this was a 3D visualization one, so we'll add some 3D visualization. <clears throat> it also involves something called the SketchUp Charette. So SketchUp Charette, and add that. And I think that that's enough for right now. We could add some other things about planning or sub-area planning. Um, let's see, office locations, those are only relevant to staff, likewise skills are. But people, people, this is, so this is where we want to give, we want to incorporate, we want to link this project to the people that were involved in creating it. So in that case, that's me, Chase, and Jeff, Jeff Winston. So we're going to add them. So now they'll be linked to this project and vice versa. Experience and service area, those are both people-specific ones. Um, I think it's probably good that we add a featured image to this because this is going to be in lots of lists and it's nice to be able to associate a little thumbnail with um, with projects, I like so I'm going to click on that button and then choose. Just click on one image and go set featured image, and it'll be my featured image. One of the other things that's nice, if you want to just show off one of these, typically the featured image is a good one, uh, is to go up to the post settings box and go feature type and choose featured image. And that'll, I th what it does is it takes this image and it sticks it at the very beginning of this in the post. And I'll show you that after we publish this. Uh, one last thing, since this is a project and we want to be able to find out where we've done projects, we need to add a location. So we can do two things. We can just use this map like we would any map and zoom in and scroll. And the other thing is, it, it, sometimes that's cumbersome. Sometimes you, it's a lot easier to just find it by place. So this was in Vail. So I'm just going to type in Vail, comma, CO, and then click this little Find button. And it'll warp me over to Vail. So in this case, that's kind of the middle of Vale. This project actually took place in West Vale. So I might as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I double click, I can move that pin around, or I can just click and drag it as I need. Let's see. So I, this map isn't working out. I can't really see the West Vale part. So let's change it to uh, un, undo terrain. Maybe we'll turn on satellite, and that helps a little bit better. So let's see. Here's uh, here's where West Vale is, and this is kind of the middle of it. So I'm going to double click right there, and that's all I need.
my that po that has that that location has been assigned to this. So after I've done all that, I can go publish. And now let's go go take a look at our post. So Westvale subarea plan. Here's that featured image that we were talking about. Here's that text that we added, and here is the gallery. And the gallery has the nice ability when you click on one of these one of these images to it'll kind of pop it up in a, in a you know ex, an exploded view, uh, a zoomed in view, so you can see these and move through them. Uh, most importantly, now if we go over to the projects, it will be uh, in this list. So there's Westvale Subarea. Uh, resort has been added to this keyword area, resort. And if we zoom into Colorado, here's Vail. It's been added to, the, to our map. Um, and those are the key elements about how to add a project to the website.